The two key concepts and common denominators of a general movement warm-up is one, to increase tissue temperature. This has multiple benefits. One of the benefits is that it will decrease the plastic properties of the fiber and make them more elastic. Think of a rubber band versus an ice cube. Increasing the tissue temperature has also been shown to increase power output of the muscles. The second concept is to prime the nervous system and get it ready for the different joint angles it will be reaching under higher stress, in other words, during the workout. This will help prevent a nervous system misfire, which commonly leads to injury. So if we were to sum it all up, the two key benefits of a general movement warm-up is one, increased power output, and two, decreased chance of injury. What more can we want from a warm-up? To set up, you are simply going to take a crawling position. If you don't know what this is, look at any baby and they will teach you very quickly. Then, you are slowly going to walk your hands back until your heels touch the floor. The crawl to squat is one of the least stressful general movement warm-ups, and therefore it's usually best done at the beginning of the warm-up. Keep in mind that as with all general movement warm-ups, the goal is to get your joints in as many possible positions and combinations of these positions as possible. Therefore, don't be narrow-minded and use your creativity. You can take a narrow stance, a wide stance, toes in, toes out, back rounded, back extended, and any combination between them. Another good rule to follow is to try to ease into restriction without too much aggression. In other words, if you feel stuck at a certain point, try to relax and ease into it. If the restriction doesn't give way, then let it be for now, as this borders the responsibilities of the general movement warm-up. 